Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Has the case, has the court reviewed? Because it's supposed to start with the court to review that. Once the court reviews and gives an order, then the police have got a right to start uh, investigating and, you know, uh, 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 what is it, Inter interrogating people. They have got that right. Before that, if there is no order, they have no right to start detaining JJ. They have no right to charge JJ. They have no right. It can never work. And they know this, the police know this. But because Haka Inde Ichirem has called for this, the police ha, ha, the police's hands are tied. It is Haka Inde Ichirem who is calling for this. Because Haka Inde Ichirem knows about the disappearance of JJ. He knows the people that have been mentioned are his aides. They are his aides. That, that, those are the people that have been mentioned. People that he work with every day, people that he give instructions. And somebody will say, no, 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 he doesn't give them instructions. We have recordings where this uh, uh, Levin Goma was, be, was uh, giving instructions to that uh, permanent secretary to save a boss now and to. And of course, that is the job of the, the aides. And the, okay, if indeed these aides, if Aka in the doesn't know about this, why is he not firing them? Why is he not suspending them? Because they have been mentioned as accused people. As suspects, and if they have been mentioned as suspects, I mean, the best thing to do is to suspend them so that they can be investigated. Why are they not suspended? Why are they not being investigated? Instead, what we have now, instead of investigating these people, instead of putting pressure on this guy, what we have now, we have a, a, the, the whole system trying to just trying to trying to cover this abduction trying to cover, trying to protect the criminals. Because these are criminals. The people that have done the JJ, they are criminals. Now we have a situation where the state wants to clean these criminals. They want to clean these criminals. They don't want to touch these criminals. Because these criminals are under Haka in the Ichilema. Are under Haka in the Ichilema. Haka in the Ichilema knows about this. Otherwise, there is no way you would allow those people to be still there. There is no way Haka Inde Ishrema will start calling JJ a thug. JJ a thug today, when you, Haka Inde Ishrema, were having a meeting with him at community house. When you, Haka Inde Ishrema, were, was, were sending JJ. And this is, these are the things that I talk about. That no shall him walk at, at one point, JJ thought that, you know, uh, he can work with Haka in the Ichirema and whatever, whatever, whatever. But look at what is happening. This is what will happen even with some of you who think that you are you are okay with Haka in the Ichirema and whatever, whatever. This is what will happen with some of you. So Mule were very careful with some of you who are talking, talking. JJ was one of the blue-eyed boy of Haka in the Ichirema. That's why he was given that position. That position as leader of a members of parliament, independent members of parliament. That's the a, that's a position that he was given. He was even given an office. But when they fell out, he was a darling. JJ was a darling. Even Kuriba, but, but Nelly Muti, the speaker, he was a darling. But when JJ fell out, the moment they heard that JJ is meeting Edgar Chagwarung, everything went sour. Everything went sour. They removed him from that office like he, they are chasing a criminal. And from there on, everything has changed. Everything has changed. You are saying, no, no, no. Hey, justice must continue. Justice must, it must prevail. If JJ had continued working with Haka in the HM, do you think we would be talking about this? Because some of you want to be saying, no, no. I'm asking you. If 
BJJ had continued working with UPND, do you think we would be talking about this? Why are you talking about this three years into your, into your leadership? Because if these cases were real, you would have been discussing these cases immediately you went into power to say, this happened, we must sort it out. But you are coming up three years later, after you have failed to work with a guy, then you start coming up to say, Umula Nduta Uwol. And what a convenient time. This is happening even after the abduction. After the abduction, instead of, this case at least would have even uh, escalated before the abduction. But after the abduction has failed, now you are coming up with this. Honestly, how can you fail to see Mwewantu? How can you fail to see that this is nothing but a state operation? How can you fail to see it? Honestly, how can you fail to see it? Mwapangwa shani inena mumpapusha. And I'm telling you, I never used to believe these things. You could say, you know, people can be, can be made into zombies. But in Zambia, some people are made into zombies. And some of these people are even educated. Eh? Well informed people. But you are zombies. You are not thinking properly. You are not thinking properly. You are even arguing with us. You want JJ to tell you the truth. What truth can JJ tell you other than naming the people that he abducted him? What truth? What truth do you want? No, JJ is pretending. When doctors are looking at this guy with police surrounding them, because every time police are there, you think those, 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 those soldiers would excuse JJ if JJ is faking being sick. You think they would keep him all this long? And you think JJ is so, uh, so, so ingenious that he would fake his own sickness and whatever, whatever, how? He would fake a conversion. Mwalishwa conversion him. Mwalishwa Caesar. These are not things that somebody can, you, you can pretend to send him to a long toilet and whatever, whatever. But you cannot pretend convulsions and seizures. You can't. Those things, you know, just erupt like a volcano in you. You can't control it. Fenting, you can't control it. Like the other time, he passed out. JJ passed out last time. You can't control those things. Go to a point of to a vendor. So, can't you just take him there? Immediately, you, you just drop because you're now offended. Doctors will check to say, No, 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 you are conscious, Bob. You are conscious. But no, 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 you don't want to believe that. You want to believe Aka in the HM. You want to believe Aka in the HM. You don't want to see the criminality in all this. You don't want to see how State House is involved when State House has been clearly mentioned to say they are the people that, that, uh, um, that kidnapped me. And they are the ones now rushing. I mean, how foolish can we be, honestly? You say this person, you accuse this person to say this is my suspect. And in the moment you accuse this person to be a suspect, he rushes to the police and reports defamation. Hey, where you are a suspect, where? Uh -uh. where are you going to police? You are a suspect. You are living goma. You are a suspect living goma. Where justice exists. You are supposed to be inside. You are supposed to be locked up. You are the one who's supposed to be tortured right now to tell the truth. If you are asking for truth, JJ has told you the truth. Now you should ask him for the truth from Levi Ngoma and uh, uh, who is that one? Is it Hamasaka and the other guy, uh, 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 Mwinde? Those are the people that you are supposed to be asking to so say, tell us the truth. But you don't want you can't you don't want to hear the truth instead of asking you were living goma to have a chadi shani you were hamasaka chadi shani you were mwinde chadi shani these are the people that you are supposed to be asking but you are busy torturing the guy that has told you the truth and you are saying no eh? you are even going around you know with lawyers Eh? Whatever, whatever. What summons are you giving? You, you are criminals. You are criminals. You are sh shame, shameless criminals. Shameless criminals. And you are abusing the state machinery. Because you are in power, you are able to go around to say we have been defamed, you have been defamed. And before we know it, we will start seeing people being arrested to say they defamed Levin Goma. And yet Levin Goma is a criminal. 
What nonsense is this? What nonsense is this? Living Goma is supposed to be inside today. Imagine if he, let's imagine if he, JJ mentioned that it's a man who kidnapped me. Imagine if JJ said it's a man who, who kidnapped me. Do you think a man would be in his house? Do you think a man would be tolerated, would be entertained at the police station to say I've been defamed? Eh? Why? Why are we like this? And by UP and this media, whatever, whatever, Abu, they are even writing, hey, hey Safiba Scott has washed his hand. You don't understand. Safiba Scott is just ridiculing you. Sakwiwa Scott is ridiculing you. There is, 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 there is sarcasm in that, in, that, in that letter that he has written by hand. You say, Shikwata Malait. He's basically saying the case that you are bringing to me is stupid. It's nonsense. He doesn't deserve my effort. Because if really that case is important to Sakwiwa Scott, he would find you know, a gen set, he would be able to type that letter and present it nicely. That letter is as good as writing it on a tissue. By you, PND, I want you to open your eyes because you are so dull, you don't understand. Sakiba Scott has written in, her, in his handwriting and you are busy in circulating it. You think it is nice? That letter is as good as writing it on a tissue to say, this case, it doesn't deserve my attention. So I can simply scribble it on a piece of paper and give it to you. And he doesn't need my attention, my effort. And he's telling you that, I mean, you are even failing to deliver. You don't even have electricity. Why should I bother? We don't have even electricity. He's telling you that. And he's telling you to say, how can, don't bring this to me because I'm, I don't have instructions because you are, you are denying me access. He's telling you you are denying access. You are being unjust. You are abusing his client. That's what basically is telling you. But you can't see it with power. You can't. He's telling you you are you you are dictators. You are abusers. You are abusing my client. That's what he's telling you in that letter. Because I'm trying to help you to see. He is telling you you are you are bad people. You are not allowing me to see the client. But you know, hey, Safiwa has trying to create a narrative like, no, 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 there is something here and Safiwa is running away. Those are veteran politicians. Those are the real state councils. Those are the real state councils. Safiwa Skota is a real state council. Not our state council. Not our state council. Eh? Because you, you eat together uh, and you know tomorrow you come up to say, no, no, this one is a state council. No, no. Sakiba Skota is a real state council. So he knows what he's doing. But anyway, at the end of the day, it is shameful. Everything is being conducted. But at the end of the day, all these things that you are doing, I'm telling you, at one day you'll be able to answer for them. Because these are serious crimes. These are serious crimes. Levin Goma, I can assure you. Levin Goma, I can assure you. Levin Goma, Hamasaka, Udiamwinde, I can assure you one day you will answer for these things. I am propagating for, you know, forgiveness and going forward, but not with this nonsense. Not this nonsense. These are, these are serious criminalities that we cannot just, you know, uh, ignore uh, in politics. Imwe, Levin Goma, you will answer for these things. You will answer. Don't think that you are clever. No, you will answer for these things. And for, as for JJ, that case will not go anywhere. Unless even our courts, our courts, they act as cadres. Unless it, becomes, it comes before a judge who is a cadre. Because even that review, it should be in reasonable time. Even that review, when you're talking about the review, it should be in reasonable time. You can't talk about eight years that no, it must be reviewed by the court. Eight years. Eight years. Eight years. That's when you are coming out to say, no, uh, I, I want more compensation. Eight years. It should be reasonable time. And usually cases, you know, five years is quite a reasonable time. But we're talking about eight years and you are coming back. 
unless it goes to a judge who is a cadre, yes, he will say, no, let's go back. But otherwise, this case is dead and buried. The case of central police is dead and buried. The case that is supposed to be looked at is the case of abduction. That is a case that the police are supposed to be investigating. And as you are investigating, let us also look at the health of JJ because JJ is not okay. JJ is not okay. JJ is supposed to be left to recover at home, not what you are doing. Bunkal wobumulechita. It's being bad hearted. It's being satanistic. It's being a wu satanism. Wu we know. Ngatwaranda satanism. A wu satanism. Satanism is not the practice. I've never step into in, in the in darkness. That is not satanism. Satanism is you doing bad things to another human being. That is satanism. The right or the practicing of whatever it is of a God who doesn't exist. That is not satanism. You can be doing that and you're not, it is not affecting anyone. Who cares? You can go ahead and do it. But when you do bad things to others, that is satanism. And therefore, from my point of view, I will tell you that the UPND government, the government of Haka Inde Ichilema, is satanic because their conduct is satanic, is that of a devil. Only a devil behaves like this. Only a devil would, you know, uh, would ignore the suffering of a person. Only a devil will ignore the suffering that JJ is going through. Only a devil. And that's why I say, you are devils. You, you are devils. Nimova Shonongo. Nimova Shonongo. You are satans. You are satan personification. You are the manifestation of satan. Because of what you are doing. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Savage. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutati Mpondo. I love you, peace. I gotta go.